Hey, what's going on YouTube? Ryan Bjerk from One of a Kind Industries. I just want to do a real quick review on the, this product right here. This is a distance and focus range adjustable strong light tactical flashlight. Um, it claims 1200 lumens and a throw of 600 meters. Um, so a couple different things about this. This is a um, product that was sent to me for specifically for this review. So uh, just know that right up front. Um, I was, however, looking for a weapon light specifically for this. This is my Tipman uh, M422 Elite, I believe they call it. It might be called something different now, or newer model. Um, so just some prerequisites here. Um, this flashlight can be operated with or without a pressure pad, and uh, we'll see what's included in the box. Um, but you will need a pick rail to mount it to, um, since if you look at the flashlight there, the pick rail is kind of incorporated into it. Um, so kind of keep that in mind. Um, if you look, on the cover here, it looks as if it has some alternate mounting methods um, other than this um, giant <laughs> thumb screw and whatnot. So again, we'll see what's in the box, but uh, pick yourself up a 45 or a little piece of pick rail where you can mount it up top if uh, you don't really care about the optics or you got a 45 slant or something. Um, but that's pretty much all you're gonna need on the um, preparation side of things. So let's see what's inside the box here. Um, comes in a nice, uh, very sturdy box sealed with a plastic sticker, just like they do uh, most things. Looks like they uh, thought about a head for uh, stocking on store shelves in there. A little hanger comes out of there. So if you're looking for it on Amazon and where it's made, hey look, there you go. So it's made in China. No big surprise there. Um, this is somewhere right around the $80 mark is what it looks to be um, costing on average. And it looks like it has a one year warranty as stated on the side of the box. And on the back of the box, see a little bit more on what's included all inside. Looks like a pressure pad and the flashlight itself. So let's check that out. So got a little uh, manual, but it's actually a sticker. No, just a manual, sorry. Really look like a sticker there. So nice uh, fold out manual does have color to it, so that's great. Looks like uh, here's what's included in the box. Uh, some stats about it, aluminum alloy, Cree brand LED, and some other stuff. And how to operate the mode switch and the flashlight independently because you do not need to use a pressure pad with it. It does have alternate means of um, lighting it up. So let's check uh, the actual contents here other than the uh, instructions. Got a little packet of hardware. It looks like a soft, oh no, that's Velcro. I was going to say foam. It looked like foam initially, but that's actually a male and female Velcro. Um, looks like you got some M-lock attachments and uh, screws, as well as an Allen key for it. And these actually look like, yeah, this actually looks like good steel hardware, not that uh, stuff that's going to strip out immediately when you try to apply some torque to it. These screws, however, are pretty long, or I guess I should say bolts. These bolts are pretty long though, so be careful. Um, you know, that you're not gonna go and uh, actually hit your barrel with those. So you might need to do a little filing or replacement on those, or they might work out just perfectly for you. So um, that's it for the hardware. Um, onto the hardware, if you will, the flashlight and the pressure pad. Um, well, first, let's take a look at this pressure pad. So on initial, Look, this thing is insanely well made. <laughs> um, so you have all kinds of grip and texture here. Now, one way or the other. So this is gonna be mounted to your um, rail directly, it looks like. You can uh, take these bolts out here and uh, mount this via those M-lock um, and mount that directly onto your pick rail. Or it looks like, look at this. It actually comes with a quick release, um, kind of like a Sig Sauer, Romeo, Juliet, um, quick release there where one entire leg um, grabs onto your pick rail. It does have an indexing bar there. And this right here is like a riser slash spacer. Um, the grip texture is really nice. It, it protects the button for one since they're about level there. And it would also provide some uh, feeling, you know, if you're feeling around your rail with gloves on, you're like, ah, there it is. Um, and if you look at the button, for constant on, it's actually protected. Um, so you're not gonna easily accidentally press that. So nice positive click there. 
Uh, pressure pad feels good. It's not too soft, not too firm. Um, cord is coiled. That's a new one. It's going to be a little bit harder maybe to, you know, kind of attach this to your gun in a way that uh, it's, it's out of the way just because of it's coiled. And uh, the attachment method looks to be Help me out in the comments. I'm not sure what that kind of connection is called, but old school power cord for old school electronics. I'll put it that way. But um, it does have a nice B nut here, nice gnarling on it. Um, so let's check out the flashlight and see how that interfaces. So heavy, so I'm guessing the batteries are in there. Um, again, this pick rail is kind of integrated into the flashlight, like molded into the aluminum. Oh, I just found how to switch it on. So it looks like. Um, Rotate this rear here. There is no uh, push button on the back, so that's good. This is actually way more manageable when it's mounted on the gun, not using the remote, so that's nice. Uh, you can actually go through the modes as well. Holy cow, is that bright? So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go go ahead and go out on a limb and believe them about the uh, the lumens there. That is an insanely bright light. I have a Streamlight dual fuel and uh, this like blows it out of the water. Obviously you're using consumable batteries in this. These are the, uh, I believe they're the 123 series or something like that. Available at Walmart now in the gun section and pretty much anywhere else for relatively cheap, really small batteries. And um, it tells you in the manual and on the box what kind of runtime you're looking at, but somewhere around the three hour range is what they say. Who knows what actual um, use will look like. Um, so they also say it's focusable. So as you turn this, it looks like, yep, the lens go ahead and extends towards the outside. So your flashlight gets a little bit longer, but you get a more uh, focused and unfocused beam there if you want to highlight a small spot. And that is an insanely small spot. I know you can't see it, but um, I'm looking at something maybe six, seven feet away. And I mean, that, that focus spot is maybe uh, 12 inches in diameter versus a flood where it's uh, somewhere around six foot in diameter. So quite a difference there. And uh, yeah, everything appears to be insanely well made. Again, this is a uh, Streamlight or similar quality. Just like the other mount, it appears that you can bolt this directly to the rail or mount this using M-lock in some way. So that's interesting. It's got some threaded bits there. And the spacing looks very close to, yep, that's looking like uh, standard M-lock spacing. So should be able to bolt this directly to your rail um, if you didn't want to use the clamp method here. So kind of give you a lower profile if you don't have that knob. Um, and it looks like you could take off this other half too. Again, because it's just held on with these uh, bolts. So very well made flashlight. Lens is beautiful and clear. Let's check the uh, interface between the switch and the flashlight. Nice positive uh, interaction there. B nuts easy to tighten. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking for any kind of uh, waterproofing or anything like that. I'm sure it's an IPX something or other. Uh, yes, IPX4 is what they say as far as waterproofedness goes. So you're going to be fine to shoot this out in the rain and whatnot, but uh, I would check out the exact what that means you know before you go uh, deep sea diving with your rifle with the flashlight equipped um, in case you don't want to scrap your flashlight so let's check how this mounts up on the uh, firearm here get the box out of the way put the tip in front and center so let's see how easy she goes on very easy and that uh, this screw also acts as an index so it, it has a very positive engagement with the pick rail Tighten that down a little bit, and uh, yeah, I'd say that's a insanely solid mount. Uh, just via tightening it by hand, it does have a flathead screw or a section here, so you can tighten it down with a tool if you wish. Don't recommend it though, so it's easy to remove. Let's check and see how this here switch integrates to the top. I'm just gonna kind of set it on there somewhere. Very easy flip of a switch and uh, yep, rock solid. So that is very nice. So as you can see, kind of the size of the light there and of the switch. The switch is sitting off the rail. 
Um, so again, I think that's why they're going with the Velcro or you can do the uh, M lock mount. But if you look at the height of the thing, it is not going to interfere, interfere, however, with your red dot and your sight picture. So um, I would recommend, you know, if you're going to mount it on, on top like this to do the constant on and the switch does indeed work. Again, very positive. You could cycle through the modes easily with the uh, momentary switch. But uh, obviously if your fingers are on the momentary, that is going to obscure your view. So um, either direct mount it to the rail or um, again, click it and get off of it kind of thing. If you're going to use your, uh, I'm not sure how much it would interfere with the dot, but uh, at least with your backup sights or your manual sights, if you will. So that pretty much does it. I would say overall, um, if you're looking for weapons light, I think I paid um, 150 something, 160 something for my stream light. Uh, the, the advantage of the dual fuel is obviously these batteries are a little bit harder to come by than some uh, double or triple A's, but they're smaller. They put out way more light, more power in general. So it's a, a give and take there. Um, again, cord management, I think would be the only thing to this thing's deficit. And uh, again, I wouldn't really consider that to the deficit might even be able to uh, straighten this out. It looks like it doesn't have a ton of memory. Um, so again, it wouldn't be very hard, I think, to kind of route this in a way where it's not gonna interfere with anything. But easily on, easily off, and uh, again, very solid mounting. Both the switch and the flashlight are well designed. And again, that switch alone over the Streamlight and others is gonna save you um, somewhere between 50 and $80 instead of having to use a cloud system mount or something like that, or use their uh, double-sided tape, you have a really nice quick release pick mount included immediately. So all things to consider for the money, 80 bucks, great flashlight for the money in my opinion. Um, longevity yet to be determined, but um, just because of how simple the electronics are, I cannot see how this thing would fail. You know what I mean? So um, it's kind of one of those things that's not necessarily dummy proof, but pretty close. Um, if you're not using the, the remote switch here, it's got a nice little rubber plug for you to put uh, in that hole there to kind of seal that off. But overall, well designed, great looking also. You know, it doesn't got ridiculous uh, branding, just got an on off here for the, uh, the manual and the manual still does work. And again, this is something that, this is actually relatively easy to rotate, which is actually a good thing because if you're grabbing your gun, you could just get your thumb on it and rotate the thing on and off. And that is actually really nice. So if you don't want to get to the momentary or the constant on, you could just rotate this, have a flashlight, and uh, yeah, you could cycle it smooth enough to actually get to the different modes using your thumb. So again, another, another thing to consider. Check it out. Show you the packaging once more. There you go. Find it on Amazon. I'm not sure if they sell it anywhere else, but I think it's well worth your money. I'm going to put this thing through its paces, and uh, obviously if something goes awry, I'll let y'all know. Otherwise, if you don't hear anything, it's all good things. But um, this gun's kind of like my bread and butter shooter. I love uh, shooting 22s, and the Tipman, Tipman 22 rifles are absolutely insane as far as uh, quality, feel, everything. Uh, this thing suppressed is an absolute monster. Um, Love it. So if anybody's looking for a nice 22 rifle, um, it doesn't get much better cheap training, in my opinion, than this particular rifle, just because all aluminum. Some parts came on it that were plastic, but again, switching them out with uh, metal variants was very easy since everything is interchangeable between this and a larger rifle. So any of your AR-15 accessories are gonna fit on here. And big shout out to Tipman. Uh, difficult to see. You'll see they actually made a, a dual-sided charging handle. Now this one is not um, from Tipman. Can't remember the brand of this one. Very sad, but either way, you have two different options now as far as brands go for a um, dual-sided charging handle, which is awesome because that was the one thing that is proprietary and it was plastic and it looked very, uh, very OEM, if you will, you know, for a, very, a cheap AR or something like that. So uh, really great to see, uh, I believe, maybe Primary Arms and uh, Tipman making variants of it. For about $60 to $80, you can get yourself a very well-made dual-sided charging handle. Looks great. And uh, again, it, it keeps the gun true to the 
all metal, if you will, <laughs> and uh, looks good doing it. So there you go, if you have any questions or Again, if this video you're watching a year or two later by chance and you have questions, how long did it last, something like that, or anything, just uh, write it in the comments down below and I'll get to you as soon as I can. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye for now.